In only a few years, Instagram went from being a niche photo sharing app to a juggernaut that wields tremendous influence over both social media and photography. Unfortunately, that influence isn't always good, as like any app, website or platform, Instagram also needs revenue and depends severely on an ever-changing algorithm. And to satisfy that very same algorithm, Instagram is now leaving photographers, sorry, photos behind and jumping onto reels. Their move to take on TikTok. So Instagram, which started its journey depending on photographers, is now killing photographers? What are the facts? Let's find out. The answer lies partly in technological advancements. You see, nowadays, almost everyone has a smartphone camera that uses AI at some point. Take it out, point at your subject, and hit capture. Shooting a good photo that is ready for upload is now that easy. No more hours of proper framing, aperture settings, color grading, or anything advanced. In many blind tests, Google's Pixel phones have been able to beat smartphones from Samsung and Apple by just having better artificial intelligence, even though Pixel phones don't come with good camera hardware. This trend is also visible among camera manufacturers like Canon. In auto mode, you can shoot a good to the perfect image which is already color graded for you and ready for publishing. Another fact to keep in mind is that Instagram was never a photo sharing app. It was a picture or snapshot sharing app that Facebook forcefully mutated into a marketing app. Wherever you go on Instagram, you'll definitely encounter an advertisement of a brand no matter today or tomorrow. Not to mention the influencer marketing industry that has reached more than 16 billion in 2022. The problem with the photography specific platform is that photographers don't benefit from marketing to other photographers. Any useful platform for marketing is going to have regular people using it and they're going to outnumber serious photographers and the incentive to monetize these platforms mean they're catered to. Because of Instagram, photos are also becoming similar. There was a time when we had to visit photo exhibitions to see original and profound creations, talk with artists, and had a person-to-person -person emotional attachment with their creations. Today, if we log into Instagram, we're greeted with thousands of photos from different creators, which is a good thing, but the problem is they come with likes and comments, ultimately defining whether the creation is good or bad. Because of this, every other photographer wants to ensure their photo always gets the highest number of likes and comments, and how do they do it? by replicating. You see, photography was always about putting out your passion, your emotion, your message or whatnot. But with Instagram, you're devoured in a sea of likes and comments. Another fact is a photographer's portfolio. Many photographers take their Instagram or social media posts as their portfolio. This is good for attracting clients or creating a fan base until you find someone who doesn't use the same platform. What'll you do then? You can say 500px and Flickr are photographer-centric platforms, but they're very niche with little reach. That's why it's always a good idea to have a website to show off your work. Now here comes the mighty algorithm. It's not Instagram's algorithm by which it knows what its users want to see, but the algorithm of trends and human nature. Over the years, we've seen a massive transformation of social media platforms. Since Facebook bought Instagram for $1 billion, it has increasingly expanded beyond simple image sharing in its pursuit to become a one-stop shop for any social media user's needs and to counter emerging competitor apps. Instagram Stories launched in 2016 at a time when Snapchat was taking the social media space by storm. IGTV followed in 2018 and more recently, the app launched Reels, a long-awaited video sharing feature labeled a clone of TikTok while slowly moving away from photos and including photographers. As well as countering competitors' USBs, the introduction of Stories, IGTV, and Reels created more advertising opportunities for brands. And now, in 2020, it's no exaggeration to say that Instagram is a hub of social commerce with the app generating $20 billion in ad revenue in 2019. All this is to keep the nature of the human mind happy and, of course, their shareholders. So that was a take on why Instagram really doesn't give a damn about photographers. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, consider subscribing.